What up guys, Tough Thumbs here. This is going to be a handheld camera video, so can you bear with me? Um, what you see here is some nice titanium knives. <clears throat> some beautiful titanium. This is my Sebenza. Uh, this is my buddy's uh, Bradley alias. And this is uh, Andrew, this is your Sage, Sage 2. And uh, the reason I have these out here is um, you guys may have seen in previous videos uh, how, sh how shitty my Sebenza was looking <clears throat> because I was using it as a template so the, t the sides were all shiny. Well, thanks to a few of my customers that are, that, uh, you know, are sending money and uh, you know, getting some extra stuff done to help me out, I got the sandblaster cabinet and uh, air compressor and everything so I can now sandblast. And also, uh, bead blast, gas, glass bead ba blast, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of the bead blast, um, in front of me here. I actually sandblasted over the thing, the one thing that I did bead blast. But, uh, yeah, this is the Sebenza. It looks like shit, and, uh, you can see it's back to basically factory. It looks beautiful. It's exactly, exactly the same as when I got it. Um, it actually, over time, the, uh, the the darkness of the titanium kind of lightens up a little bit. And you kind of see, I didn't sandblast this side uh, because I'm sending it back for uh, a new screw because I lost one of them. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm like coughing up shit here. But uh, you can see it's slightly, just you can't even really tell, slightly darker, but that's just because it's uh, freshly done. And you can see it looks like a nice brand new Sebenza. And uh, also, this Bradley alias came to me looking like shit. I stone washed it, and I didn't really like the way it looked stone washed. Tell you the truth, I mean, it looked it looked better than it did. But I figure, you know what? I'll bring it back to factory. So you can see here, it's just 100% perfect. I also did the pocket clip, just stainless steel, which looks like titanium now. It's a little greasy. And you can see it's like, yeah, you know, it's it's pretty much brand new looking now. No more scratches and back to that nice powdery smooth uh, texture like the Sebenza. <clears throat> now getting into the customer today, you guys gotta stick around for for the last part of this because it's it's ridiculous. This is definitely a benchmark video for me. Um, this is the Sage 2. Um, <clears throat> sandblasted this side. You see it looks the same as factory. Um, this is yours Andrew. And uh, you guys saw this, he actually bought this from me, and uh, I'm sending it back to him with his order. So that's why I still have this, I don't <clears throat> wait that long to send stuff, but... You saw the groove pattern on the uh, on the other scale. Check that out. It's the groove pattern, but it's got the nice factory look to it. Sandblasted, so it's nice and matte finish. And I just think it looks a thousand times better than the shiny stuff. <clears throat> it's just a little bit too shiny for me, and this just makes it, you know, it just feels nice all around, and it's uniform, instead of being uh, really shiny on one side and uh, flat on the other, but uh, I think it looks beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me, I can't seem to clear my throat right now, but anyway, on to probably one of my most proudest moments in knife pimping so far. So you guys have seen that this has been an ongoing project for me. Um, basically making this, this Anzo 67 into a real Anzo, it seems like. But, uh, you know, you see? That's the one side. And, uh, you know, I'm still not, I'm still going to try to figure out prices on this guy, so don't come bombarding me with, uh, with orders, because I still got to, you know, I got to get a, I only got a trial sheet of titanium. And, uh... <clears throat> I still need my grinder. I did this on uh, basically the sanding wheels and the, the belt sander. But uh, yeah, this is the titanium side. You guys have seen it a million times. But as you can see, there's also titanium on this side. And I just finished this up. I sandblasted <clears throat> the insides, inside of the uh, cratering. So it's like kind of like these. But the outside of it is a little bit glossy, or not glossy, but shinier to match the uh, the overall, you know, look of the knife. So, that's my first titanium scale, guys. With the cratering. 
I think it looks pretty damn good. <clears throat> I didn't want to chance the Enzo pattern on it because it was just, you know, I just don't have enough of the, the, the sanding drums to do it right now. Uh, I definitely wore them all out, so I got to get a whole new bunch of those. But uh, I went for the cratering because I liked it so much with the tiger stripe. I figured I'd make myself one. And you guys have no idea. I shit my pants when I finished this thing. Like, because I finished it up. And, you know, I was just like, God, oh, this is going to be so difficult, like, putting this thing together. You know, it's just going to be something wrong with it. And, uh, you know, you can't really edit titanium like you can with, with G10. Like, titanium is, you know, it's, it's solid for you. You know, it's not, you're not shaping this thing. I mean, there's a few little edits I have to make here and there. Uh, just got to bring that little tip down the tiniest bit so it lines up with the other one there. But it's pretty much almost perfect. You can see there's the slightest bit up there. And uh, other than that, perfectly centered, perfect lockup, no blade play whatsoever. This thing is so solid, it's insane. I can't believe that I actually did this and, uh, you know, it worked. I thought there'd be some kind of weird tolerance that I couldn't get right. But, uh, you know, I had to pat myself on the back for this. And it didn't take too long. It only took me uh, a couple hours. I mean, getting the scale out took me about... You know, cutting the scale out was pretty quick with my new new equipment I got and um, basically all the time went into the screw holes well not actually that long in the screw holes this is damn you know nested uh, pin here where it's got the little yeah you, know, you gotta get that right and yeah those are always a bitch even on G10 so but you can see it's slightly thicker than the other side which is cool with me because uh, this is a pretty lightweight knife already so and uh, it's not very thick but uh, this is my first titanium, guys. This is the first time I've done anything straight up with titanium. And I am more than happy with my results here. And I'm so surprised that it actually worked out. Didn't really run into any issues at all. And I can see once I get my grinder, basically this won't be that hard. And guys, I'm not going to, you know, just like with everything, I'm not going to charge an arm and a leg for these. You know, I'm going to charge what I need to. Um, to cover, uh, you know, materials and, um, the extra work, but, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be, you know, if you want this scale, it's not gonna be like $300 or some shit, you know what I mean? But, uh, it's gonna be affordable, and, um, but I still have to work out a price, I still have to, I have to research, see what everybody else charges, get an idea of what's fair, and, uh, maybe get some feedback from you guys, like what you would pay for something like this on a single side scale maybe you guys can just let me know you know because I you know some people don't like me talking about my business or whatever in here but you know what I do this for you know for myself because I love it and I do it for you guys because I know you like knives too and I want to try to make it so you know people that can't just go asking FERC for a custom job in their Emerson can ask me I mean if this the scale did not take me that long and if, if that took me that long to just do this the bolsters will be pretty easy, so I won't be charging too much for that stuff. But, I mean, the titanium isn't cheap, but the silver twill costs more than titanium, so it's not too bad. But, uh, I'm just really, really proud of this right now. I just really am very happy with myself. Uh, this is an accomplishment for me. I've been dreading the day that I would try this, and uh, the day came, and... It was fun. I liked every second of it. But yeah, so you guys need your stuff sandblasted. Your your is looking ratty. You know, just uh, send it my way. I'm thinking about 25, 30 bucks. I don't know. Depends on uh, depends on uh, you know my my financial situation and the shipping or whatever. But not much, guys, because uh, this is just shove it in the booth and just hit it with the gun. So. And it's, it, this is, you guys just worried, this is exactly, exactly like it felt when I first got it. It's just as smooth, it's just as beautiful, and uh, I can't believe it turned out so good. But if anybody's got a spare Sebenza screw, I mean that one's pretty close to the rest of them, it's just not as shiny. If anybody's got a spare one, let me know. I would gladly pay you for it. 
as I, you know, as of right now, I don't really need to send this back to Chris Reeves if I had that screw because I was going to send it back for sandblasting, but I did that myself, so I don't really care about the blade being a little bit scratched or whatever. But please let me know if you guys uh, have a spare. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, I'm offering sandblasting. And guys, you have not seen it yet, but I have in the past sandblasted G10, and G10 sandblasted is actually pretty cool. Um, it kind of gives you that peel ply look to it and feel like there's a little bit of grip. I have to do it some myself. I didn't do it myself before. I had it done for me, and I left the scales on there because they were glued, and uh, they actually turned out really cool. So. Uh, yeah, look at that 67. I say the value of this poker went up a little bit. But, uh, guys, as usual, thank you for watching. Thanks for your support, guys. Seriously. Um, this is just going to be better. This is going to get crazier and crazier once I start combining the G10 with this. I just can't believe it actually works. I just didn't. I don't know. I thought I'd run into something. But it, it, it was it's perfect. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and have a great evening later.